Hello froggies, welcome to circle time. This is our last week of school. So I thought since we haven't done it in a really long time, we could sing the hello song. So I'm going to sing here in my house and you can sing along in your house and listen for your name. And we're gonna do the motions too, okay? Ready? Rock, rock, everybody rock and tap, tap. Everybody tap and rock and tap and sing along. Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. Hello, everybody. We're so glad to see you. Hello to Ben. So glad to see you. Hello to Madalena. We're so glad to see you. Hello to Isla. So glad to see you. Hello to Charlie. We're so glad to see you. Hello to Bridie. So glad to see you. Hello to Gabe. We're so glad to see you. Hello to Maggie. So glad to see you. Hello to Audrey. We're so glad to see I bet some of you did a silly voice or maybe you made a silly face like we do at school when we said your name. It was nice to sing the hello song. I missed it. So next, let's pray just like we would at school. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give a little clap. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Fold them in your lap. Dear God, thank you so much for all of the froggy class, and even though I missed them, thank you for all of the time we got to spend together at school and on videos together. Amen. Okay, let's take a look at our calendar because it's almost done. Look, we're all the way down here. That's a two, and then do you know what this number is? Six. So two and a six. It's the 26th of May. So get a deep, deep breath ready. And we're going to count all the way down to today. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. That's today and it's a Tuesday. So now run over to your window or take a look if you can see from where you are. And what is the weather today? What's it like outside? Hmm. What do you think? And I look out my window, I don't see any blue in the sky. It's just a bunch of white. So that means it's very cloudy, but it's not gonna be cold today. It's probably gonna be pretty warm because we're getting close to the summertime. What could you, hmm, what could you wear outside today? Do you need a coat? No. Do you need an umbrella? No, probably not. You could wear shorts or pants and a t-shirt and you would probably be fine right okay next up we're going to talk a little bit about all of the letters we've learned this year we talked about every single letter of the alphabet and there's actually 26 letters in the alphabet just like there we've been through 26 days in may so this week i want you to see where you can find the alphabet letters in your house. So let me show you some of my ideas. So I found some letters on my box of crayons. It has some paint on it too. But there's some letters right here and they spell k -k crayons. Where else could I find some letters? There's some letters on my phone. It's hard for you to see it, I guess. But I see letters and numbers on my phone too. You're gonna find lots of numbers. I found letters on a lot of my food because it tells you what kind of food is in there, right? This is Honey Nut Cheerios. So that's where I found letters there. There's letters when you get things in the mail, right? So this is ripped open because I opened it up already. 
there's letters to tell the post people, the postman or the postwoman, where to send the letters, right? We talked about that in school around Valentine's Day. So there's letters on my mail. Look, there's even letters on my shoes. It says New Balance. That's the kind of shoes there are. And there's a big N right there. And if you turn it like that, it kind of looks like a Z. And there's letters on my calendar here, right? And then numbers. And of course, there are letters in books. Letters make the words that tell the story and they match the pictures in the book. So this is our mouse paint and all of the letters make words that make sense so that you can read the story. So you look all over your house and see if you can find letters in some different spots than I found too. Hmm, they're everywhere. Look, there's even letters on my shirt, I forgot. And there's the sunflower from last week's book. It's my special flower shirt for our flower month. Okay. For the last thing we're going to do today at circle time is we're going to do our poem. So, get your hands ready. And this Friday at our Zoom meeting, if you want to perform the poem on your own, you'll have a chance, all right? So let's get started and do it. we got to get our hands ready. Dig a little hole. Plant a little seed, pour a little water, and pull a little weed. Throw it away. Chase a little bug. Hi-ho, there he goes. Give a little sunshine and grow a little bean. That was great. Good job. Since we are talking about beans in our poem, I wanted to show you my bean. I took it out of its bag. And look at all of those roots that are growing, trying to suck up the water. And bring it close. It's going to be a little hard for it to focus. There is a little plant coming out. And the little leaf is getting ready to come out. So it's really growing and growing. And soon, I think I'll be able to plant it in some dirt. My other little bean that's not growing as much did start to have a little root. That little white line is a little root trying to get out. So, there's some on this side. I think it's trying to grow. So I'm gonna make sure that it has enough water and enough sunlight and we'll see if it can keep growing. All right, we are going to be done with circle time today and we're gonna to read our new book in the next video. Bye-bye.